What is up, you guys? Pete DiCarlo here, Traders Helping Traders. Today, we're going to talk about the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ and basically the market in total. Uh, Friday, we saw a significant drop, about 2.75% for the S&P 500 on the back of the news that the World Health Organization came out Thursday on Thanksgiving saying that there is another variant, the Omicron variant that is spreading through Africa and that it seems like it's going to spread to the rest of the world. And they're not really sure the damages or the implications that this could have uh, basically not only on people, but on potential shutdowns, lockdowns, and it puts people into a massive scare and a hysteria, which we saw the S&P 500 take a massive, massive push down. And what I wanted to do on Friday was kind of give you guys a video explaining like, where do I think the market's going? Do I think this is a crash? Yada, yada, yada. But honestly, I was just like, I've, I, I hosted people on Thanksgiving and I was like, I'm just tired. Like, I don't feel like putting out another video today. So I was like, I'll wait till Monday. And of course we have had a complete recovery. So the reason that we have seen a big push up today is for two reasons. The first reason so far is that doctors have come out and basically said that from what they've seen going on in Africa, that while it does seem to spread like normal COVID, you know, uh, the, the infect rate is pretty high, that the people who have been infected have not had to be hospitalized and the symptoms are very mild. And then today, uh, President Biden came out and said he does not expect more travel restrictions or lockdowns as COVID Omicron variant spreads, which is very good. You saw on Monday or on Friday, not only did the whole market get hit, but specifically like we really, really saw travel get hit very, very hard. And I did close some of my travel positions like American Airlines uh, and Boeing, which I wasn't really too happy with in general, but I was like, you know what, I'm just going to close out my position in general. Um, so overall, we did see those pullbacks, but they are trying to hold and recover today. Um, if you guys are part of our Discord, if you haven't, go check it out. Discord uh, link is in the description. It's completely free. You guys can get access to some free trades. You get access to all my long-term investments, free courses. I live stream there every Sunday. And you also get access to one of the best unusual er, option activity bots that there is out there. So if you guys are part of the community, you know that I was saying that I really believe going into Q1 of 2022, that we're probably going to see a significant pullback in the market, probably about 10%. Um, and I honestly thought that just with the amount of fear and uncertainty that we saw here on Friday, that we could see a significant pullback on the S&P 500, uh, you know, possibly back down to like 449, which really is not even that crazy for how much we've been running. That's about you know, another 4% fade from here, but I expected maybe we could see a fade back down to there and then potentially a pullback down to 430. So I do still stand by the fact that I think we're going to see about a 10% pullback coming in January, but I do think that it seems that we will probably continue to push up to 477, maybe 480 by the end of the year, close at all time highs, and then see that pullback down to 430 potentially uh, coming into January of 2022. Really, though, monitoring the situation into the next couple of weeks is going to be important, but I don't think that this specifically is going to be too much of an issue. I am more, and I jokingly said this on my stream this morning with the private mentorship group, but I am personally more worried about inflation than I am about you know, a, a variant of the Roni, to be quite honest. Um, so there are a lot of things I will be watching. Um, as far as my trading and investing style, I've not really been buying too much long term recently. But from a trading perspective, um, I have been cutting back a little bit on my aggression. I've been very, very aggressive in Q4 of 2021. I was very aggressive Q4 2022. Traditionally, I'm very aggressive in Q4. But I have pulled back a little bit. I am focusing a little more on selling cash secured puts. If you guys are part of the group, you probably know that by now because you see my trades. Um, but, you know, I'm really focusing on pulling back a little bit uh, and then just looking for a consistent 2% two, 2 gains, 1% gains each and every single week. Um, so that's the goal. I don't think it's going to have too much of an impact on the market, but I did want to hop in, make a quick little video. Uh, and I will keep you guys posted uh, going into the next couple of days. We'll kind of monitor the situation, uh, see what the market's doing. But just want to hop in, give you guys a little idea on what I'm doing. I still think the Santa rally is going to happen. I still think we're going to close this year at all-time highs, uh, but I will be playing a little less 
aggressively going into the next couple of weeks. So thanks for all the support, guys. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Go and check out the Discord. Link is in the description. You can upgrade actually to get access to all of my trades. We have a 90% success rate as well. You can also get access to our premium unusual options activity bot. The link is in the description. It's free to start and 20 bucks a month thereafter. Guys, thanks for all the support. Have a great day. Peace.